it's going to be Tony on the Sonic, 8-Bit Man versus Rob. Definitely these two characters and these two players are meant for each other as we get into the first match of Winter Semis. Wait, what do you mean by that? Why, why are they meant for each other? They just are strides. They just are. <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I don't know. I, I would imagine at this point... Ape Man has run into a decent Sonic, just by nature of like how many online tournaments he's played. And I do know in Florida there was like quite a few decent Sonic players as well. Yeah. So like, not anything he doesn't know about, but yeah, right now, dude, Tony Tank working on yet another zero to death. I'm gonna count that as a zero to death. I know he traded there, but but damn, like <laughs> that might as well that be was... a zero. To... Yeah, that was a good trade because that was a zero to death either way. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Tony not slowing down at all. He, when I say Rob's big, he's going to get eaten up by these combos. Tony's trying to prove it right here. I think forward air is just really good too. Like, man, multi-hit, pretty decent hitbox on it. Like, Rob's just that perfect size to get eaten up by that move. Yeah. Also helps that his recovery doesn't have a hitbox either. So, if Tony wants to play an aggressive offstage game, he can. Oh yeah, my goodness. I, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, link my to that goodness. Forward air. Man, looking at the 3 1 rundown. Jesus. Tony is off oh, yeah. to a strong start. Ape Man definitely taking some time here on the Angel platform, just trying to compose himself. Because this oh. is looking like a possible game one speed run. Yeah. Even the weight on the, the spot dodge from Tony is so good. Oh, Falling no. out of the arm rotor. Not what you want as an 8 bit fan. But, yeah, Tony. Tony's looking so strong right now. Yeah. Even can't I get a strong he, punish. I think he knows, man. Once you get the first stock, you definitely want to keep running things over as much as possible on Rob because, oh no, oh. that's that's an interesting choice here. Ape Man will cash that to the bank. Looking like the stimulus check might have come early. But uh, like you said, man, dude, if you're Tony, you want to consistently run over Rob as much as possible because if you give him the time in the day to set up gyro, lasers, you know, the typical Rob options, he will definitely start to slow you down, and that's what you don't want. Yeah, it's uh, it's not impossible. Like I've seen Rob kill like at forty percent, <laughs> so it's all about just finding that opening for Ape Man right now. Oh, oh not falling for yep. that! Not falling take, for that! And you take extra knockback if you charge your smash attack. Yeah, if you get hit while you're charging a smash attack, you do take bonus knockback. But yeah, Tony didn't even bother trying to challenge it. He like. Just waited until Ape Man was done with the move and he's got the free punish. Yeah. Yeah, Ape Man wanted that roll from ledge, honestly, but yeah, Tony was he's playing he's paying very close attention. He, he's not gonna let that happen for free. Especially after that huge, huge lead he uh, made for himself. So yeah, pre very dominant game one from Tony. Ape Man's gonna have to really dig deep in my opinion. It's always rough in the first game when, like, you die super fast because you just don't get a lot of time to actually figure out your opponent, you know? Or even, like, what their habits are like when they're the ones that are in, like, a defensive position. Because even then, there wasn't very many moments where Abed Man had, like, momentum in the game. Yeah. So, so yeah, going into the game, too, kind of rough, I would say, for Abed Man. Not sure what stage he went here, though. Three, two, one, go! Gonna be on the good old Pokemon starter, too. I mean, having the platforms is good for Ape Man. He's able to get some platform extensions a little bit on that, and definitely able to try the platform maybe against Sonic, little things like that. But we'll see, man. I think Tony shows no signs of slowing down coming in here to game two. Because he knows I have to get the hits in first before Rob gets any time of the day to even set up Gyro. Look at how quick Tony is able to get back on the Ape Man, stopping him from going for the Gyro charge. Yeah, so far, man, Ape Man is having a very difficult time dealing with the homing attack as well. Uh, a lot of times you want to either just move out of the way of it or try to spot dodge it as it's coming at you just to force Sonic into that laggy landing animation from his homie attack. I don't know the amount of frames he's in lag exactly, but I do know a lot of times that you have a, you have the time to just run up and just hit him with a smash attack when he misses that move. Yeah. 
All right, Ipman looking for an opportunity here. Yes, he is able to get the gyro, and it's still active on the ground here. Double forward smash will pay its dues here. Ipman will finally the stock lead here. Letting Tony know, you know what, game one, I'll give it to you, but I'm not going to give you game two just for free, just yet. Mike doesn't go for an out-of-shield option. He knows the shield has been crossed up. I'd rather roll back, get center stage, get this down through here, and sneak my percent in through as I almost get this arm rotor confirmed. Oh, nice. Uh, once again, gyro to hold the stage. This is almost a big corner carry. I would have liked to have seen it come through, but Tony strikes back. No back air. This is perfect for AP Man. Oh, yeah, this, this is like where he wants to be. Yeah, with the lead against Sonic, able to just continuously harass him with the uh, gyro as well in neutral. This is covering a lot of options there yeah. for Tony to try to approach. And that was definitely a lot of the things that Tony was avoiding game one. He said, you know what, let me get this whole thing over with before I give Ape Man the chance on the time of day. There's a laser, no grab here, neutral air to kind of catch a landing, but no follow-up into the up air. Tony was great the IOA. He knows I don't want to get followed up because I could lose my stock as early as now. Back air on Ape Man gives him stage control and the back air train Ooh. once more. Ape Man with a two stock lead here. That's one way to deal with homing attack. <laughs> yeah, a lot of active frames too, yep. Not enough. Ape Man's gonna go high. Oh yeah. He's always throwing out that back air ledge. If you can't um, get a gyro set up in time. Just because that move is so active and strong. Yeah. Sometimes, though, you can actually get the hit of the gyro at the ledge to just make the back air connect even easier. It's oh, yeah. I, it's just Ape Man's years and years of experience. A really good catch of the day here with the down smash, too. I would understand he might just go for the down air. Ape Man off stage. He knows I got all the jet fuel in the world to come back to it. Watch out for the forward smash. Ape Man with a neutral air on the stage. Tough call there. Usually you would see the gyro play or a laser, but... Tony definitely is happy he's able to get the stock here and just put things even oh. slowly oh, looking Speaking of come even, back. where's the DI on this up air? Oh, straight up. That's unfortunate. Damn, Tony actually, he did 43% from one string from Sonic. Yeah, it was looking that, like things were about to be even, man. That means that he, he only needs to win neutral like once or two more times to either take the lead or take the stock. So, <laughs> that's... In case you guys forget about how crazy Sonic's damage output is, uh, that was a very good example. But even in spite of all that, Ape Man clutched that out, maintained his lead, and uh, yeah, brought this to 1-1. First game looked like it was going to be a three-stock from, oh, yeah. <laughs> from Tony. <laughs> I, I thought, look, you know me, man. I'm an Ape Man. I'm an Ape fan. I'm all for it, dude. But like, yeah, it was looking like it was gonna be the rundown of the 3-0 from from Tony's a tank here. But never give it up. Never, never, uh, never, never count all your chips, man. Never count your chickens. You want to make sure that you stay glued to the entire match because Ape Man has a lot to say and he has a lot of core strengths. Being the player that he's been through all the way from brawl. Definitely, definitely. And even sometimes I watch people fight against Ape Man. I feel like. He gets like that, with that like that that veteran aura over his opponent. Like they just start like <laughs> they stop shielding. Like they just stop. They start rolling a bunch of times. Like they get, they really get swept up in Ape Man's pace. Yeah, it's, it's, the, he, call, it's, gets... it's the it's the Call of Duty. Like yeah, I'm level 55, but you know what? Ape Man is on like the fifth prestige already. Definitely yeah. that kind of aura he's got. We'll see, man. But Tony yeah. the Tank definitely one of the hot kids on the block here with the Sonic. Not the first time we've seen him here in top eight of MSM online. Hopefully yeah. not the last year. He's looking to definitely get this 2-1 possibly over Ape Man. Or will it be the other way around? Down throw to forward air here. In the center platform. No follow-up after that forward air. But hey, you know that Ape Man sees the stock. I'm sorry, the percent lead. He's looking to definitely change that into a full stock lead. Nice. I really like that he's ending his uh, spin dash combos with back air almost every time. If he can't get enough time to do this, like just carry him to the blast zone with the spin dash forward air, the back air enough, enough, alone does enough percent. But yeah, great stuff for Tony, man, taking that first stock yet again with that great spin dash combo. Because look at look what he can do here. 45 already. Not super close to dying either if Ape Man doesn't get like a grab or a, a really good like smash attack here 
Oh, look at that laser able to just burn through the spin dash. Ape Man looking to send a stage. Oh. Gets caught, forward air out of the shield here. No down smash confirmed. Good opportunity because you know what? If Tony wanted to roll, it's going to catch him on the other end of the down smash. Okay, back air. We're talking nice. about how good back air is. Actor frames, a lot of great knockback. But it's the way that it also pushes Rob away as well. So it makes it really good on shield and down air. Not going to be the spike, but hey, Ape Man still got a little bit of stage control as Tony slips through the cracks. Hey, finally, finally gonna even up the stocks. And again, <laughs> Rob, that, that arm rotor and spike from Rob is two crazy stock stealers at low percent. So it just takes a momentum swing for Avid Men's favor for him to take a lead here as far as stocks go. Nice, still poke with only attack yet again. Honestly, Tony takes pressure when he goes on the offense. It's been very good. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, I think Ape, I what think a Ape call was, out. Yeah, well, that was a good call. I think Ape was looking for an aerial, but unfortunately, it's a little slow in the draw. Tony will definitely get the back air and the stock lead with two stocks up ahead, man. Down air, no follow up. Oh, I got patience from Ape Man. He's looking to just get away from the spin dash and hold shield on it. Look at that shield pressure, too. That shield was looking mighty small. Could have definitely been poked through. And you know, Ape Man was looking for a Nair to confirm that into an arm rotor. And possibly even steal the stock. Great, great deal on the upper this time from Tony. Mm -hmm. Item usage from Ape Man. He knows that he wanted Tony to go for that low recovery. I like that. He let go of the shield. He wants to save that health on the shield so he doesn't get shield poked. Oh, man. Ape Man, he's just really struggling to stop these approaches from Sonic right now. Yeah, I mean, There's look at the way that Tony again. played. He stalled that homing attack so he can punish him after the gyro. No aerial, I like. Good patience from 8-Bit. Didn't see an opportunity where he could go for aerial because he might have been punished there. Tony with a lot of stage control, no forward smash, down tilt. Not enough pressure here. Tony is definitely holding shield after that one. He's just holding on to this stock lead as long as he can. Okay. Event's forced to go high. No, it goes low. Mm. Still a lot of pressure at the ledge. That F tilt hitbox will always curse be cursed for me. <laughs> like it's just Yeah, that dude. It hits below the ledge. It's strong. It low profiles him. Yeah. It's actually very, very good tilt for Sonic. It's like a I think his worst his worst tilt might be down tilt. But yeah, that, that was great for, for no, Tony, and even, regardless. And even then, like you said, it's like three, it's like a three one special, dude. It's really good. And the fact that Rob is also a big hurtbox, it's good for just Tony to understand. You know what? I have three really great things I can do with this horde, this this down tilt here. Might as well use it on Rob, who has a really big hurtbox, and I can get the stock here. And this puts Tony up two one here. Set point versus. Ape and Man. We'll see who runs it home all the way through. I definitely still believe Ape and Man can definitely make the comeback, but we'll see how things are going to go between him and Tony in this Game 4 scenario. Yeah, I don't know, man. I I feel like uh, this will be Game 5, just based off of how Ape Man was able to adapt in the after the first game that he got almost three-stocked. Yeah. I mean, he must have a pretty good mentality to, you know, still bring it very close after losing like that. Yeah, look so at the from the platform too, able to get the 74%, and oh no, that was close. I think he wanted an air to, uh, just oh. for 8-bit. Takes a little bit of percent being off stage here, but I don't respect it because he wanted an air dodge so he can grab the gyro, and then set up further stage control. It comes back with the arm rotors here. Stage control with gyro yet again, looks for the poke, but no back air. Nice. A good understanding too, because you know that laser is able to stop spin dash, but also look at the positioning where Ape Man Ooh. was. He had the gyro in such a good place that if Tony wanted to go for a roll or a spin dash, she had to worry about gyro. And then look at where Ape Man understand, like, you know what, I can just go for a laser here and they cover all these two options already. It's Tony who's the one on the back foot. Oh nice. He's the gyro here too now. Even just inter interrupting these spin dash approaches so consistently for Ape Man. Yeah, so again, suddenly the tables have turned, man. Ape Man Oof. turned. <laughs> what was a two-stock advantage to a three-stock? Or sorry, a one-stock advantage to a two-stock advantage. Just off of, like, sheer tenacity, I want to say. 
Your tenacity indeed, and look at it. You're looking like your prediction is going to be right, right? We might be seeing a game five here. The current trends of how each player is adapting against each other here. Okay, Tony on the stage. Kind of shuck in the landing here. No spin dash. The man definitely using that down to shut him down. Lasered it because he sees the distance between the two of them. No dash attacks. So again, Gyro holds center stage. He gets Ape Man a little bit of stage control. No back hit of neutral air. No front hit. So start up with laser, but the forwarder that it is going to be enough. Tony, a little bit of a breath of relief here. You don't need a lot though. A Ape Man, he knows the position he's in as far as like the stock and percent lead goes. Uh, it just looks like he's just hanging back and always putting a wall up for Sonic Spin Dash. As he should, if, I mean, if he does get that hit, like he can convert pretty well. Yeah, I thought about earlier too. The name of the game here for Rob is to stop Sonic's movement. You don't want him to spin dash. You don't want him to run in and out of it. You want something to stop him and get him to hold shield. Oh no, that was a tough buffer here on Ethan, man. Able to still recover here. That was smash. Yep, that stage control here. Looking to get that deep neutral. Oh. Not enough. A lot of options covered, but a little bit too uh, late on the up smash to catch the roll. Doesn't matter Still if it's though. too late, you know, he gets a laser at the end. Yeah, Tony, Tony's in a very rough spot. Doesn't want to deal with the gyro, so he's just going to let, you know, maybe man get it back. Yeah. Look at how much yeah. pressure that... It's not even pressure in general because that already is, but look at how much... Ape Man benefits just from stopping Tony from moving. In that situation, like you know that Tony had to back out. What was the option? A jump out of the shield there, and that was enough for Ape Man to just get out there. So he knows that's the name of the game. Tech Chase, not a full one here. Tony able to get it right before Ape Man has a chance to follow up. Laser once again stopping the spin dash and the gyro oh. to stop the landing here. Ape Man with stage control as Tony oh, on Ape Man. Too far stage. Yeah, too far. Man, Ape Man, he he's just like able to come back so so dominantly <laughs> after losing. It's very impressive, I gotta say. Like it just shows he he knows what to do in this matchup, even if he loses. So yeah, he's definitely adapting to the player here too. Yeah. Adaptation over adaptation here, but like we said, it's a, it's a game five scenario strides. You called it best. It's time to see who has adapted the most in the, in the time these two have played. It is going to be the final game five between these two players. One gets to go on to winner's side. Ape Man still continuing the dominance that he has, getting consistent top eights. Will he get a fourth MSM win? As uh, From the winner's side, at least. We'll see how things go here in game five. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Let's see if Tony has what it takes to clutch out this. Uh, I want to say it's an upset at this point. Yeah. over Ape Man. And he's actually choosing to run it right back to Pokemon Stadium 2. Let's see. Let's see what he can do this time. Yeah, I, I think Ape Man, every been... game he's won has been on this stage. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, it would make sense. Like, Ape Man wants the stage that he knows he won in. He knows that if Sonic tries to land on the platform, I can cover those platforms. I can go a little bit lower through the oh. stage of PS2 here just because of my the ability that Rob has on his upbeat. Nice. I love that Sonic Nair is so good on shield. Like, since he can drift after doing it, he can, like, cross up shield so well. And it's a really decently strong move, too, so it's actually not super, super uh, negative on shield either. Not to mention, he can do it out of spin dash. It's, he has a lot of options with that one move. Okay. First stock matters heavily in this set, as you can see, especially for Tony, who's been able to super push his lead when he's able to take the stock before a bit man i think every man recognized that as well as why very desperate to not fall into these sonic traps but great positioning on that back air ignores the gyro still has some decent ledge pressure here yep sees him stuck in shield a little bit too long get the free throw all right oh doesn't get the last of it up there that's unfortunate for him Nice, man, that spin dash forward air, dude. Even when he wasn't even close to the blast zone, just still enough to kill. And now Tony, again, working with the stock lead, saw you, and he's able to get like 50%, like six, almost 60% when he gets the hit on Rob. 
So if I'm AB man, like I don't want to <laughs> give him any opportunity to keep building on the lead like he's doing right now. Oh, nice catch. Some big Sonic combos right now, man. AB man cannot get into the game right here. Yeah, 161 here on Tony. Like you said, he's not able to get in the game. There's a roll with grab here. Tony gets a quick little punish. Nice. Stops that spin dash. Watch for the landing. Is that a forward there? Yes. Oh, what a confirmed good. What a stock lead. Ape it, man. Yeah. some time to compose himself on the Angel platform. He knows what's at stake. Max, Max Rage spin dash forward there. It's killing even Rob that early. And that's an easy 42 again from Tony. Like, Aven man, I don't know. I don't know if the frustration's starting to kick in, but he's gotta do something if he wants to take this game. Otherwise, it's it's all Tony right here. But up throw. Taking the first stock in this uh, last game five. Aven man. Gonna have to put in some work. Otherwise, we're seeing we're seeing the ups that happen. Yeah. We know Ape Man is definitely going to put in work here. We'll see how he gets things started. That's what's important here. How does he get it started? No Z drop after the neutral air here. Tony just able to clip through here and get this 100% Ape Man with a two stock lead. Oh, Ape yeah. Man looking to Huge. Land. Yeah, he saved the jump. He saved the jump. Yeah. Not in danger of dying, but every little hit that he gets is just putting him further and further in the lead. Ape Man can't really afford to make any more mistakes. Ooh. Very close to dying. And there's that clean, clean back air. Tony taking it with the two stock in the game five. On the stage that he's lost to every single game. Oh God, <laughs> he one. lost to 8-bit man twice on that stage. And he still took him there for game five. That was nice. Great, great stuff. Yeah. From Tony. Yeah, that's...